and if you're new, hey, my name is Adele Maldonado. Thank you so much for being here, so much for watching my videos. For today's video, I decided to go ahead and recreate this eye look right here. Um, I posted an Instagram post with it a couple of days ago and had a really good response. And people asked me if I had made a tutorial on it. And I hadn't, but I went ahead and created one for you guys that were asking and for anybody else who wants to figure out how to do this look and how to do like the halo eye look. So if you want to see that, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is going to prime my eyes. And all I'm going to use for that is a concealer. Um, I don't really use any eye primers. I haven't tried any out. But I really like to use a concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Um, and I feel like it works really good. It's really lightweight and it doesn't crease very much. And it's very easy to set. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes and this is just going to help neutralize any redness or any veins that you might have on your eyelids. Um, and just to get a nice even base for your shadows. It's also going to help your shadows show up a little bit more vibrant. And I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. And I had work this morning so I kind of have a little bit of mascara on. But that's not much of a big deal. They won't really be too much in the way. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is just set that and I'm going to use the Airspun um, Loose Face Powder and it just looks like this, the packaging. Um, and I'm just going to use that to set my eyes. It's very lightweight, but you can just use any shadow, like a neutral shadow color um, to set the concealer. And the reason why you want to set the concealer is because once we start going in with any transition shades, it's going to help them blend a lot more nicely and seamlessly and it won't be streaky or patchy. Um, so that's what this is going to help with. Just set that concealer. And you don't have to go in with too much product, a little bit goes a long way. Just want to make sure you get the whole eyelid. And I like to come out a little bit past my brow, um, just because sometimes I do wing out my shadows out to here. Okay, so the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 Eyeshadow Palette. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just take any fluffy crease brush. This is the one that I'm going to be using. Um, it did come in my BoxyCharm box. And I'm just going to go in with Marina. And that's going to be the first shade we use. I'm just going to load up the brush. And then I'm going to put that directly into my crease right here. And what that's going to do, it's going to provide a nice transition shade and give our crease some depth. That way it makes our eyes look a little bit bigger, a little bit more open. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the brush at the very end of the handle. And that's going to help you go in with a lighter hand. That way everything doesn't come off so harsh. And it's going to help you blend better. And I'm just going to stick that end right here. And then just start going back and forth. And windshield wiper motions. And then I'm going to go in with small circular motions as well. Okay, so the next color that we're going to go in with is going to be Seaside, and this is just going to darken it up just a little bit more. And so this one, I'm not going to blend it out too far up. From the crease, I'm going to kind of keep it just right in the crease, and I'm just going to go in windshield wiper motions. Okay, so the last color that we're going to go in, in the crease, is going to be Siren, and I'm just using the same brush. This is a very easy look to create, even if you have very minimal brushes. Um, and you can use any shadows that are similar. I'm just showing you guys how I created this look using this palette um, from the BoxyCharm box. And so I'm just going to apply that right in the crease. And I'm not going to blend it out very much. I'm just going to keep it right. So we have a nice 
smoked out crease. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the lid and we're going to be doing a little halo eye effect or like a spotlight effect. So for that, um, I'm going to go in with Riptide. And you can use a brush, so I'm going to show you what it looks like if you start off with a brush. Um, and so I'm just going to take a little brush. This one is kind of more dense and it's not as fluffy, um, so the product's really going to be able to be packed on. Now I'm just going to load up the brush. And then I'm going to apply that on the outer edge and the inner corner. It's going to help create that contrast between the dark shades and the light halo that's in the middle or the spotlight that's in the middle. And I'm not going to put anything in the center just because we are going in with a very light shade. So if you put this all over the lid, that yellow color is not going to come through, um, which is sunset. It's not That golden color is not going to come through as much um, or as easily. You'll have to pack on a lot of product. So this way it's a lot easier. So I'm just going to pack and just pack that in. And you don't have to worry about it being neat because we are going to blend it out. And then I'm going to go in on the uh, front corner of the eye and do the same. And just pat, pat, pat. And then I'm just going to connect right here and just pat right there. And I'm not going to blend. I'm just going to pat the product in and kind of pack it on my eye. And then in a second, we'll go in and kind of blend it out so it's a little bit more seamless. But this is just going to put the product that we want there. So you don't really want to put it too much in the crease because we are going to blend it out. So I'm just going to take that same crease brush as before and just start blending the outer edges. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go in with the spotlight shadow. And so for this color, I'm going to be using the shade Sunset in the Tarte Palette. And so I'm just going to pack up my brush and I'm just using a packing brush. It looks like this. And then I'm just going to place that on the center of my lid. Um, you can go in and put a little bit of concealer. That way it comes up a little bit more vibrant. I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray. You can spray it with water if that's all you have. And that will help the metallic shade comes out, come out a little bit more. And so then I'm just going to pack. And I'm not going to sweep because I want it to stay where I want it. <laughs> A little bit of contrast is going to brighten up your eyes a lot, especially with the darker shadows. And then I'm just going to go back in with that same crease brush and very lightly go around the edges of the spotlight. That way it just blends in really nicely. I'm going to go in with the color conch and I'm going to put that on my brow bone for that. And that's going to help kind of go over that darkness as well and brighten it up. All I'm doing now is I'm just going very lightly with a very light hand over that edge to kind of blend in the new shadow that we brought in on the brow with what's right here. Okay, so now we're back and I went ahead and just did my whole foundation routine. Um, it's the same as my past video, so I'll go ahead and link one of those down below that way you can go check it out if you're interested in what my foundation routine is. Um, but now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the bottom of the eyes and then we'll apply lashes and then we'll see the whole look come together. So I'm just going to take whatever um, brushes that I used earlier. So I'm just going to take that same crease brush and kind of run it underneath my lower lash line. And I don't like to go in with extra product unless I know that I blended everything off of my brush just because I feel like there's already a lot of product on your brushes already so you might as well use it and not really waste it. Also um, I feel like it helps it not seem so harsh especially since there's not a lot of um, room to blend out on the lower lash line anyways. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go back in with the sunset color. And I'm just going to go back in with the same a brush that we used. And I'm going to apply that right in the center, right underneath where we have it up here. And I'm just going to apply it right on the center down here. 
and that'll just give us like a tiny little spotlight on the bottom. So now what I would do is just apply some mascara. So I'm just gonna apply just a little bit because I already have some on my top lashes, like I said before, but they have been covered by shadow. So I'm just gonna go over them very lightly and cover all that shadow and then go ahead and apply some to my lower lash line. I poked my eye and my contact and so I got it right here, but I'll clean that up in just a second. So the lashes I'm going to be applying are the Pure 3D Bombshell Lashes. And so they just look like this. They're really nice and fluffy. And these were the ones that came in the BoxyCharm box this month. And so I'm trying to use all the products that I got in that box just to show you guys how you can use them. Okay, so my lashes are on now. Nice and pretty and big and fluffy. These, I love these lashes. Um, I think I might have to trim them down just a little bit more because they are kind of uh, really long on the outer edges, but they are very fluffy and really pretty. and They're very light on the eyes, which I really like. The next thing that I'm going to use that came from the BoxyCharm box is going to be the Al Alouette face paint. So I did my whole foundation, my bronzing, but I didn't apply any blush because I wanted to try this out. This is a lip and cheek tint. I kind of use my beauty blender. I'm going to see what it feels like on the back of my hand first. So it has really nice pigmentation. Um, so I'm just going to kind of smooth it out here and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. And then I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender. Okay, and for highlighter, I'm actually going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use the color Pearl and I'm just going to pack that on my brush and I'm going to kind of mix Pearl and Sunset together and create a little highlight shade and just use that to highlight my cheeks. <laughs> that we have to do is the lips. So for that, I'm just going to line my lips and then apply that same um, face paint from Alouette. So, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too light, but once I started blending it in with the lip liner, it kind of came together, Got made it a little bit darker. Um, I actually really like it. And it tastes really good too. It tastes like, I don't know what it tastes like, but it doesn't taste nasty. It actually is really nice on the lips. The last thing that we have to do is finish the inner corner highlight and for that I'm just going to go back in with the shade Pearl and I'm just going to take that on a tiny little brush and just apply that right in the inner corner and kind of brighten it up. really enjoy it I really love doing these halo eyes I love the contrast of a dark shade with a nice bright or like metallic -y color right on the center of the lid for a little spotlight I feel like it gives the eyes a really nice look um, so yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a big thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are liking my makeup tutorials if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button you'll be notified when I upload new videos it's totally free and I've had a couple family members ask me, do you have to pay for that? No. Subscribing to my channel is totally free, so hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified. And yeah, I think that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye. As before, and just start blending the outer edges. Use the same products that I always use, um, that you guys see me use in my other videos.